way in a timely manner. Thanks again for joining today. Uh, we're happy, uh, happy to have you here. And uh, today's is uh, the topic of the demo of the project online. I'm going to show briefly the capabilities and the tool. A few words about myself and Microsoft Project MVP for four years and uh, proud to be a PMP uh, certified and uh, been doing this uh, for the last 15 years. Uh, and everything related to project management consulting and project management, program management, framework, things like that. So managing partner of the Trusted IT Group. Uh, feel free to reach to us to ask any questions. Anyway, we're gonna uh, we're gonna move on for, uh, to the next slide here. So we are also in um, uh, various locations throughout the uh, uh, throughout the globe and uh, uh, in different. Um, areas in Europe, Asia, United States, uh, South America, things like that. So uh, I have global exposure, so we're happy about that. Um, uh, happy customers of ours, we we keep uh, keep our customers happy. This is our mission to make sure that our uh, clients and customers are satisfied. And I personally guarantee that every one of our customers will be 100% satisfied. So that is our uh, mission and uh, my mission as a managing partner of the firm. Um, so there you go, Microsoft Project and Portfolio Management. We call it Microsoft PPM. You will hear a lot of words uh, thrown uh, into um, into you as a Microsoft PPM, Microsoft PPM. So the PPM stands for Project and Portfolio Management, PPM. Okay. Um, a few words about you know the digital transformation. Already tired of this term, but but still you know the. Uh, the older projects that are that are still going on within the organizations are part of the the, the strategy to move to the cloud to transform uh, the processes and making making things automated and things like that. So all those initiatives are in execution mode or in planning mode are are capable. You know, the Microsoft PPM is capable of actually helping all those initiatives to, to push through and, and make sure they, were, they were, were executing those in the most efficient manner. Uh, so uh, the other, uh, the other there's just a few slides and before I get to the actual demo. Uh, so this one uh, is basically showing you the research in 2016 um, by the PMI Institute they, that you know 43, uh, 43% uh, of the companies, uh, they that they have you know high alignment you know with the strategy, right? So meaning that the other the other fifty seven percent basically are not exactly aligned with the strategy. So there's a over over you know over the fifty percent of your uh, average uh, projects may not be actually aligned with the corporate strategy with with the way the company really wants to go. And that's something that uh, the, the Microsoft PPM as a, as a solution may may help the organization process to to be adjusted to to line up their to line up those projects and execution of those projects towards those uh, strategic objectives. So that that's you know uh, this is a very very um, high level uh, metric, but but very very um, uh, clear that that we need to have some kind of systems in place, some kind of uh, mechanisms and methods by which we would determine how our projects are aligned with the strategy. And uh, I'll show you a few, uh, briefly a few, a few slides about that. Um, so at the end of the day, we, we're looking at implementing the um, ideas um, uh, into uh, you know putting the ideas in place, collecting those ideas uh, through different methods, and nowadays we have to do this through uh, all kinds of you know mobile um, applications or you know tablets or you know all kinds of different ways. So we can just dictate on the on the phone uh, all of those ideas. Then we need to get to some sort of a you know planning exercise where we would you know sort out those ideas and understand which ones we actually want to. Uh, implement and then get to the actual execution of those that are selected. So uh, when we talk about the Microsoft PPM, there are certain certain areas that are high level 
uh, one's ideation where you know uh, uh, new requests are coming in or new ideas are coming in. So we do want to capture you know all of them because sometimes good ideas are being um, overlooked. And then we uh, have the planning module where we can uh, look at the schedule, so build that pipeline of, of projects, build that forecast of resources, and understand how the organization is going to be uh, utilized and, and, and busy with in terms of the next six months, the next year, the next two years, so whatever the planning cycle is. And then we can actually have, you know, provide the module for the execution where we would be able to monitor and control some of those approved uh, budgets, some of those approved projects that are being uh, being approved by the leadership team. Um, and then uh, underlying everything that I mentioned as far as ideas, plan, and execution with, with the collaborations uh, to collaboration tools, the insights with the Power BI or you know other reporting mechanisms to present the information in the most you know meaningful way, in the most easy way to uh, to read by different forums, the leadership forums, project managers, community management communities, you know team members and things like that. Extensibility, allowing this to scale out quickly. Uh, and onboard new projects, onboard large amounts of new projects, onboard large amounts of new vendors, resources, and things like that. So basically, solution would not limit you to do business in the in the pace that you uh, that you'd like it to be. So moving on to just to move up from slides quickly, I would wanted to uh, really um, uh, show you a few slides about the uh, uh, capabilities to do things in the tool. Uh, to do uh, to establish more governance, but at this point, I'd like to um, actually switch to the um, quick demo, where I'll be able to uh, show you some of the capabilities. And this is basically when I um, um, launch my uh, project, uh, Microsoft PPM solution. I would usually get to the so-called PWA, which is the Project Web App. And if I go to the home page. And um, we we do have different demo environments here in Trusted IT Group. Uh, we have this uh, this demo environment called First Love, meaning that when you when you first see this environment, you should love it. So I mean, I hope you I hope you love it. Anyway, so um, and we also purposely made it look like not SharePoint, or made it look like not necessarily you know your your commonly a known Microsoft project interface or you know a, a, or SharePoint because this is based on on SharePoint and then the first page it, we we made it look uh, we configured it uh, so it looks like a modern interface with some some kind of additional uh, you know additional pop-ups here where you can uh, uh, look at different menu items, look at different links. So all these links are configured and, and you can change this configuration as part of your operational process of uh, operational changes. And you can kind of build these links and make sure that you have access to different modules. But basically, I'd like to walk you through a, a basic process of, of, of creating a project. So uh, I can go to a list of projects. Uh, where I can click on the uh, on the projects here, where I'll be able to see uh, the portfolio of of my projects, and I can see that you know some of these projects have not been completed. So some of these projects have have you know been you know uh, doing pretty well as far as you know the percent completion. I can bring up that ribbon here and kind of zoom out and zoom in and see how this is uh, how this is. Uh, uh, laying out on the on the timeline 2018 here 2019 so I have some projects going on in the future some some of these are lining up I need to kind of prep myself for so this is a short view of the of the project uh, portfolio and I could be you know at this case in this case the one who has access to only this subset of projects so the permissions and security uh, could be tuned up in a way that I can only see my own projects and not see other uh, people's projects. So in this case, in this case, uh, I'd be able to um, drill into some of these projects. And let's just say I'd like to drill into one of these uh, MS. Uh, let's just say I'm going to drill into uh, this one, uh, Mega Feed Power uh, Connector, something like that. Um, and um, when I drill into uh, one of these projects, 
I'll be able to see that uh, this project has a schedule. This project has, and this is where getting from you know familiar uh, with the actual Microsoft Project tool. So this is where you can actually pull this into your Microsoft Project desktop tool. Or if you choose so, you can actually work on this online. So Microsoft puts a lot of effort into making making sure that you have capabilities uh, within the cloud, within the the, the web browser, uh, to to manage your schedule uh, as effectively as you would manage your schedule within your Microsoft desk Microsoft Project Desktop tool. So in this case, you can you can see the, the Gantt chart, you can see the resources. You can actually uh, you know, uh, have some custom fields and calculated fields. So you basically would manage your project as is, as you would manage as you would manage manage this project in the MS project. Uh, here you can also uh, uh, add resources. This is also where this is where you can also. This is also where you can. Uh, um, you can uh, look at the uh, different resources that you have on your project and quickly run some of the uh, resource um, analytics like uh, capacity planning, see how your resources are under or over utilizing uh, the, the project so you can qu quickly get to some of these charts understanding that you have potentially over allocating some of these resources where you may need to uh, rebalance your resource load on this project. So uh, some of this information is very, very uh, quickly and easily available uh, for anyone uh, who is a project manager or resource manager. And um, when I also uh, show some of these things, uh, going back to uh, the resource, actually there was a, a different tab. Uh, going back to this tab and closing this, going back to the actual schedule. What I can also um, uh, get access to here is uh, to the different information on the project. So that was the information about my schedule. And I can also, here on the left side, you can see different links and that are basically part of the information for this specific project. I can look at the project details. This is where I, I'll be able to see some of the high level information like the project name, the start and finish and the owner and some of the key accomplishments. You know, this is where I can look at the cost details. I can look at, you know, what are the cost information? Some of this information is arbitrarily put in by the actual project manager, but some of this information is also being calculated like earn value metrics and other things are calculated uh, by by the project automatically. Project does a very, very good job um, in calculating a lot of different metrics aligned with the um, earned value analysis and things like that. So there's also different status details you can put like on track to drive your you know, indicators and KPIs, additional details. There's also a strategic impact where you will be able to assess uh, or uh, we'll put some additional scoring against uh, the strategy. This is where this is where the project Microsoft PPM will be able to align and help your help your PM organization to align some of these projects with the the strategy. In this case, I have like one, two, three, four, five different strategic objectives, and this is where I can say how my project, how this project is actually impacting. Uh, some of these business drivers, okay, and this is the, uh, the assessment to the no rating, uh, uh, low rating, moderate rating, and things like that. Um, so uh, I know that we just allocated very, very limited time to this demo, and and any depth, uh, in depth information or about the, the drivers or prioritizations, we can uh, set up a separate time. Uh, uh, for in-depth uh, demo. One thing I do want to show you uh, before I give it back to Scott to take in a, any questions uh, is to show you some of the reporting capabilities. And in this case, uh, we have our own um, uh, Trusted IT uh, Power BI reports pack. There is also Microsoft out of the box uh, reports pack. Let me start showing uh, you the, the first of the um, Microsoft Project Online um, uh, reports and out of the box um, Power BI reports pack. Uh, it's also on, uh, you know, available and for free. You can download the reports pack. The only thing you would need to have the the Power BI license to uh, uh, to run these reports. 
but these are reports are you know amazing amazing and, and very very um very very flexible in terms of how you can adjust things here and how you can drill things so let's say let's just say i want to look at you know uh my marketing projects i can click on this marketing you know uh part of this don donut here and i can see these two uh, two marketing projects showing up i can look at this and just focusing on marketing projects if i am the marketing manager right marketing department manager or if i am the uh you know at the corporate i want to see it you know click on this corporate and i can look at the corporate projects and i can see what's going on uh, what's going on here right from here i can quickly uh quickly get to uh some of these projects and get to the bottom of this um uh, get to the bottom of this project uh, uh right away i can look at you know some of the information uh within the project going back here uh there's a lot of different dashboards i don't want to show you everything i do want to show you a few that would give you a little bit of an insight into um, um into the portfolio analysis uh in, i'm sorry into the resource analysis you can look at the risks you can look at the issues uh you can look at the um um all kinds of information then this is this is very 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 useful this is where it would show you the the resource availability heat map so the the red negative numbers would show you that those cases where you the, where the resources are over allocated and uh, this is where you need to um, kind of improve the resource balancing uh giving you uh, giving you all the the insight about that the upper lever, you know, upper left corner here uh, is showing you the overall overall capacity of the organization on a week on a uh, monthly basis, and uh, he, those those towers at the bottom are showing the the actual availability. Obviously, we have a, a demo environment where we don't have all the resources uh, assigned 100%. This is where you would see that oh, okay, my organization has. Uh, underutilized uh, resources, but you can see that some of the resources are very, very in high demand. So even though organizationally I am not utilizing everyone uh, from the overall perspective, but individually I can see that I have some individuals that are requested more than others. Uh, so somebody's plate is not as full as as, as others' plates. Uh, so that's something that this this kind of insight you can get from uh, some of these dashboards. Anyway, I, I did want to make it brief. I did want to make sure that we're going to record this. We actually, we actually are recording this, um, and um, we would also post it on the YouTube channel of ours. So feel free to uh, subscribe to our our YouTube channel, the Trusted IT Group. And uh, if you would like to have any more, you know, in depth uh, demos, uh, feel free to submit any questions to us. Uh, we are um, uh, either, you know, just contact us on the uh, on our website, and uh, we'll be happy to uh, to address any of those questions or conduct uh, in-depth demos. Demos. We can. All, we will also run these demos weekly. Uh, the the next week we will probably emphasize a little bit on the uh, portfolio analysis, but generally uh, we would open the floor for the last five minutes of the, of the webinar to uh, to open and ask any questions. Uh, Scott, anything you would like to add here? Um, you know, no, other than, you know, the, we did cover a lot here. Um, one of the things, you know, that would strike someone is, you know, the complexity of the options. And one of the benefits of working with a company like Trusted IT Group is we have the experience to help you navigate, to capture the information that you need in order that these reports and the information generates are, are in line with what your corporate objectives are, which is really the key. And uh, so I, I would open the floor to, to questions. Uh, and then if no one had any questions and wanted us to follow up with them uh, later, if you could just uh, contact via the email address, uh, I'd be happy to follow up with anyone and get a little more specific into the environment you're working in and how these resources can be put to work for you. So with that, we'll just open the floor. If anyone had any questions they wanted to express now, um, please feel free. I think I unmuted, unmuted. And I'm looking for hands raised. Um, 
we'll give them another few moments and give people an opportunity.